Okay, in this video I'm going to show you how to use a saddle on clamp splitter. So I have here this white box which is a two-way saddle on clamp splitter. I don't recommend using these but there are some circumstances where you might have to. So you will need to use your screwdriver just to pry off the plastic lid of these. This might be a little bit tricky. There we go. So inside we have saddles and clamps for the coaxial cable. So a little bit different to terminate than your, your typical um, F-type. So we need to make sure we leave a lot more cable behind on the end of our termination. So instead of putting it right near the end like I normally would, I've actually put my rotary stripper well back on the end of the cable. So I'm just going to strip that back. But what this will do is it will leave a lot more centre conductor available to us than we normally would have. Again, I'm making sure that none of the braid is touching the centre conductor. But if you look there, I have a lot more centre conductor than I would ordinarily have. So this is my cable coming in from the splitter. So we slide it through. We need to loosen off the clamp first of all, just to make sure we've got a bit of space to work with. And we do that with a screwdriver. It's a Phillips head screwdriver. And then we slide that into there. So the centre conductor is going through the clamp. So if you look at that there, the centre conductor has been slid through the clamp and then the, the braid is going into that open saddle. Um, you need to make sure the braid is not touching this bit here. It has to be kept separate so it has to be that part needs to touch, the braid needs to touch the saddle and only the centre conductor needs to touch the screw part. So once I've got that through there, I'm just going to screw that back down. So now, my centre conductor is very tight in there, I can't pull that out. Now I can take my pliers, and I'm just tightening off the saddle. So I've tightened it right off now, around that braid. So I'll do the same with the other end now. Now these also have a power pass, just like the other type of splitter. So you need to be aware of where that is. In this case it looks like it's saying that we have a power pass across both, oh, sorry, across to the out two. So there we go. So if we had an amplifier, we need to make sure that the socket feeding the power up via the plug pack is going into out two. So that's what I'm going to do now. Let's just slide that one in there. tighten off the clamp and then use my pliers to close the saddle. Nice and tight. Okay so that's that one done. Now I can do the other side. Again loosening off Slide it in. Tighten it off. Make sure it's good and tight in there. Let the end close the saddle. Like so. Now once you've done that, you should trim off the excess centre conductor. Because we don't want that to be floating around in there such that it can get to touch anything it doesn't want to. So, all right, so there we go, completed saddle and clamp terminations in our saddle and clamp splitter. Close up the lid. All done.